Okay, let's continue our discussion of our simple linear regression. So we've already talked about kind of like the basics of what's going on. We are effectively trying to t capture some data, uh, specifically we're trying to capture two numerical variables on, uh, on a set of data. And we are trying to figure out, um, so x is our predictor variable. And y is our response. And we're trying to determine if there is a relationship between these two pieces of information about a data point. Um, ultimately, uh, usually a response is like a piece of information that's hard to measure. And it would be much handier if we could measure something easy and then predict what the response is going to be. So ultimately, we are trying to fit some line. And our equation for that line, like if we were to gather all possible data points in our population and we plotted them, the line of best fit would look something like this. Y equals beta naught plus beta one and multiplied by X. So we've got, I mean, a lot of times we see this as like A plus BX, uh, or ax plus b, something along those lines, line of an equation. In statistics, we use this beta naught and beta one. Now when we go and collect data, our sample estimates of this, we're gonna have y hat equals b naught plus b one times x. Okay, so, Ultimately, we really don't care about the intercept, and most a lot of times, like our intercept doesn't even make sense. A lot of times, it's so far outside of the range for the data that we have collected that it's kind of meaningless. Really, all the y-intercept is there to do is to position the line so that the line goes through the midpoint of all of the data. We're really interested in our beta one term. We want to estimate this, and for our hypotheses, for our hypotheses, then in regression analysis, we have that the null hypothesis is that the true slope of these two um, variables is equal to zero. There is no relationship. That's the baseline assumption. And then the alternative that we can do is beta one is either less than, greater than, or not equal to zero. Most of the time we do not equals for these, but you could do the other ones. And so we're trying to test to see, do we have a significant relationship? And we still are going to test against, you know, some alpha value. For example, we could do like 0 0.01. And so we need a way to actually be able to go in and do this analysis. But this is like how we were to, how we would set up our hypothesis. We were trying to see, is there in fact a significant relationship between these two values? Now we'll talk a little bit about, uh, about how sometimes we can have significant relationships, but it doesn't do well at it. The model actually doesn't do a good job of explaining the variance or, or the variability in the model. And uh, we'll talk about that in future videos.